guys, Tom from How to Wrangler here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to seafoam your Jeep. Uh, seafoam is a motor treatment and we are going to actually put it into the intake manifold. And what it's going to do is once we suck it into the intake manifold, it's going to break down the deposits and we're going to let it sit for 20 minutes, start up the engine and all that junk is just going to fly out of the back of the exhaust. So it's pretty cool, pretty easy thing to do. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and I'm going to do this with the assistance of my buddy Nate from TinkerJeep.com. Nate? Hi, I'm Nate. Um, so he's actually going to go through the process and he's going to show you how you disconnect everything in here and how you're going to put the seafoam actually into the engine. So Nate, you want to step in and I'll hop in and start the engine up. All right, before we start the engine, uh, what we have here is your brake booster and this is your vacuum line. We're going to disconnect the vacuum line. There's actually a sensor here, we could take that off. But the vacuum line, when we disconnect that, it's going to be a lot of sucking. <laughs> and then with our sea foam, we'll suck the sea foam into the uh, intake manifold. Now you're going to hear the uh, engine idling a little bit differently, but that's all right. As long as we suck the, uh, the sea foam into the intake manifold, um, and then we're going to shut off the engine so we'll let it soak for 20 minutes. So, Tom? Yes, we're going to put a third of the sea foam into the cup. We'll prepare this right now. It's like a little grenade. There we go. Doo -doo. Tom, if you'd like to start the engine. without stalling it this time. <laughs> All right. Now guys, as you can see, as, as Nate's sucking up the sea foam, the engine is starting to idle funny, but that's okay. You just don't want to suck too much in too quickly. Would you like to shut off the engine? Right about. And we're good, shut it off. All right, now we're gonna let that soak for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we'll come back, start the engine, and it'll burn off all the uh, carbon residue. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes, and now we're gonna start the engine. Uh, Nate's gonna start revving the engine inside, and you're gonna see all the deposits come flying out of the back of the Jeep. So here we go. So after it's, you've done clearing everything out, just let it run for another about 10 or 20 minutes and all the deposits will keep uh, running out of the engine and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. So uh, your engine should run smoother after that. And you know, it's, it's a good idea to do this every once in a while. Like I haven't done this, it's got 77,000 miles on the Jeep. It's a good time to do it. Um, but uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.